Ipswich Street scene. Hello and welcome to being Frank on Ipswich Town with me, Frank, my wife, Rung, and everything related to the club we love. And the main focus of attention today is about that McKenna press conference this afternoon. And it's pretty disappointing. He says our intention is to make fans proud again, but he'll have to work at it because Kiefer Moore has not trained all week. He's unlikely to play but it's not impossible because of his mental strength, apparently. But there is a, a downside to that, of course, uh, and that is, will he pull up after a short period if he comes on? I think McKenna is playing a bit cagey, a bit canary with this one, and he might not be revealing all the facts. I think um, I think Moore will play, but I think he'll come on as a substitute, not start, and that Ali El Hamadi will begin. That's my got feeling about it and he says of El Halmadi that he deserves some game time he's progressing very well and playing through the pain barrier he will need surgery on an abductor strain in the summertime so well done to him and well done to a new subscriber called Adam Ferjani who has just uh, joined the crew today uh, or yesterday and with a name like that you sound Italian but welcome on board the Ipswich Town Social Club, Tractor Boys Social Club, every single day of the week we try to provide you with some bits of news and there is more bits of news. Uh, Wes Burns is set for a second scan today. George Hurst is still not ready to play. Uh, no surprise there, but he um, might come in if the dreaded playoffs um, if you are involved in. Let's not think about that. That's a horrendous uh, thought, actually, isn't it, really? And he said, uh, McKenna, that the focus is on the here and now and uh, although fans are allowed to dream, we live in a place called reality and um, that makes a lot of sense. They have to play from day to day, game by game and not focus on anything else. Although it must be almost impossible to not have thoughts about the uh, Premier League when we are so close to it. Six games away now, we only need probably four wins to do it and one might be at the weekend, let's hope so. OK, we're going to end it here for now. Thanks for tuning in as always and what we say, darling... Up the town!